My name is Salah, and I am a researcher at the University of Luxembourg working on artificial intelligence. In the recent year, there was a big trend on generative AI with techniques like DALI and ChatGPT that managed to generate very realistic images and text. These products, even impressive, use under the hood techniques that we call machine learning. These techniques require a lot of data to train and to learn. However, in most cases, in the real scenarios, we don't have such amount of data. There are cases like uh, rare disease prediction or financial fraud or even climate change prediction and forecasting that do not have such amount of data and require a lot of specific techniques, predicts and to learn. My personal motivation when I started my PhD was to tackle these specifically hard problems when we don't have a lot of data to improve the machine learning models and make them more efficient. I focused mostly on healthcare and financial fraud. To do that, I designed algorithms and uh, techniques that use additional tasks to improve the robustness and the learning of models. For financial fraud, I worked with BGL BNP Paribas to design algorithms to detect money laundering and improve the robustness of these machine learning techniques. For healthcare, I focus on scarce disease on chest X-ray pathologies. I designed algorithm and technique that combine tasks, so pathologies when we don't have a lot of data, with other uh, pathologies when we have more data. Finally, my research was uh, part of the COVID-19 task force of the government of Luxembourg, where we designed models and algorithms to efficiently predict the evolution of the pandemic, but also propose mitigation strategies of how to limit the casualties and the health impact of the pandemic, but also to speed up the economic recovery of Luxembourg. When the peak of COVID-19 was approaching and the government were looking on how to ease the restrictions, our simulation and tools allow them to simulate different scenarios and to see which one will have the least economic impact and human casualties. A few months later, when every country was easing the restriction of COVID, we, we saw that the countries that managed the best to handle the situation were actually the ones that followed our recommendations and our scenarios. That was a personal fulfillment and achievement to see both scientific recognition and also social impact of our research. Achieving both is what every researcher strives for, and it was a great win for our team and the recognition for our hard work and dedication. Science is about dreaming the impossible and achieving it.